Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alice. I'm a hormonal and mindset weight loss expert. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you why weight loss has nothing to do with calories and how to actually get rid of yo-yo dieting forever without cutting calories. So a lot of people like to hate on me, especially on TikTok, for saying that if you want to lose weight, you shouldn't cut your calories at all. And that weight loss has nothing to do with calories. Now, this is true for two simple reasons. First one is that your body is much more complex than a simple calories in versus calories out equation. There's a lot that goes on into your body apart from just how much food you're eating, such as hormones, mitochondria, how your cells are working, and simplifying weight loss just as a matter of you need to eat less calories in and get more calories out to be able to get rid of the energy is not exactly how your body works. You can be on a caloric deficit, and you probably are right now, or you have tried in the past, but if you think that weight loss is hard for you, then it's going to be hard for you. Because we cannot talk about losing weight without talking about mindset. Your mindset will really dictate if you're going to lose or even like gain weight. I work with hundreds of women at this point, And I can tell you that the first 10 to 15 pounds go away just by eliminating guilt from their bodies. Now, I know this sounds like a lot of who stuff going on, but it's actually really simple. It's a 10 minutes process that... I take all my clients go through and we don't need to actually relive the event or the situation right the negative emotion we're just getting rid of the negative emotion by implementing and understanding what are the positive learnings that this event has brought for you but let's take a step at a time so you already know that your body is a very powerful machine it uses the energy from the food to function of course because you need to convert the energy into the ATP, which is like the energy booster for your body. But what's conveying that food and allowing that food to go into your cells, that is hormones. Let's make an example. For lunch, you're eating a plate of pasta or maybe like quinoa or oats, whatever, with some veggies and a fruit at the end. Now, all of what you have eaten is sugar because every carb is converted into glucose into your body, which is like another name for sugar. What happens is that whenever you're eating carbs, your body ingests sugars like glucose. This glucose, after going from your mouth, goes into your blood to be able to then be spread out into the different cells of your body. So this is what you have probably heard of, like the blood sugar, right? This is exactly how it is. You eat some sugars, that sugar goes into your blood. Now, that's a really interesting thing at this point. Free glucose cannot stay free in your body because it's toxic. Toxic glucose creates free radicals, creates cancers, tumors, diabetes, and so on. So it needs to go somewhere for your body. It can, you cannot have like sugar floating around in your blood. It cannot stay there. It needs to go somewhere. A normal, healthy, functioning body, usually you secrete insulin from your pancreas and then insulin acts like a key unlocks the cell so you're able to let glucose pass through the glucose channel and go inside of the cell so now you're able to use that glucose for energy now, what happens is that most of us eat way too many sugars and way too many carbs every single day therefore we need to make a lot a lot of insulin to be able to keep up with the amount of sugar here's the problem your body cannot store that much sugar cannot use that much sugar for energy body has a very specific limit of sugars that needs to stay constant in your blood which is like 80 to 100 milligrams of sugars per deciliter of blood that's your normal range anything that goes less than that is a problem anything that goes higher than that is a problem so if you're eating a plate of pasta that is usually like 150 200 grams of the milligrams per deciliter of blood of sugars that's too much and if you're eating like this every single day the amount of insulin that you're releasing is really a lot therefore your cells stop listening to insulin and if you're secreting insulin that insulin doesn't open the cell so now glucose is free but because glucose cannot stay free in your body it needs to go somewhere and you're wondering where it goes it goes into your body fat your body is actually able to convert that sugar and put that into body fat. So now you have become what is called insulin resistant. If you're insulin resistant, you are in fat storage mode because everything that you will be eating will be converted into body fat. You eat a thousand calories, but if those thousand calories are sugars, 
then you're gonna gain body fat no matter what and i see this all the time with my clients women come to me eating less than a toddler and yes they're wondering why they can't lose the weight and when i ask them what they're eating during the day they're usually skipping breakfast and drinking coffee instead which creates less resistance which we're gonna talk about in another video but second of all they're eating too many sugars too many carbs and in a way that doesn't allow their body to actually absorb the sugars to be used for energy what you can do is actually switch to a low carb lifestyle which doesn't mean you, you should get rid of carbs at all that's not what i teach in my program inside the program you will learn exactly how to eat sugars without spiking your blood sugars what i call insulin management hacks so what happens is that by using these little hacks like getting one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water 10 to 30 minutes before eating some carbs that allows your body to lower the insulin spike and the blood sugar spike therefore you you become less and less insulin resistant but first step is actually lowering the amounts of carbs you're eating per day the second reason weight loss has nothing to do with calories at all is called mindset so many people are doing all the things correctly they're even cutting the carbs they're on keto they're doing low carb they're eating breakfast doing everything correctly yet they can't lose the weight you are in this condition and you go to your doctor or to a nutritionist and you tell them i'm doing everything i'm eating a calorie deficit i'm doing everything right right everything that you're supposed to but i'm not losing the weight he or she will tell you it's impossible you're not in a correct deficit at all but you know you are because you're eating less than a toddler you're eating low carb keto intermittent fasting everything yet you're not losing the weight right so it needs to be something else than just calories in calories out or that you're doing something wrong 99 percent of the time the thing that's wrong is actually your mindset i don't think that weight loss is hard for you that for example i had a client in menopause thinking that in menopause losing weight is harder right which is something if you think about it something that people have repeated to you so you probably also like believe this right but it's not supporting where you want to go so what we did is we eliminated this limiting belief and after eliminating this limiting belief she actually lost one pound per week and is now on the road to lose her first 10 pounds after being in menopause first thing that's happening to many of my clients is there one part of them is saying i can totally lose the weight the other part is saying no bitch you can't lose the weight and this creates a lot of conflict within someone's body especially in someone's mind and conflict basically creates this double choice for your brain and you don't understand where you need to go so you don't take any choice and you end up binge or you end up doing something that you shouldn't want to do or you wouldn't want to do what we do is we use nlp techniques to integrate the parts and so they can get rid of the conflict and actually get to where they want to go which is like lose the weight have a healthy body have a slim and sexy figure and also feel amazing i hope this episode was helpful for you and if you have any type of questions comment down here or message me on instagram and i will be more than happy to answer you if you're interested in joining the weight loss kickstarter make sure you're heading down in the description settings and click on the link to apply to work with me i'll see you guys in the next episode